Hey guys, today we're going to discover how to create photo grids and collages in Adobe InDesign using my favorite tool called Gridify. My name is Kate Silver, I'm a graphic designer, shoe designer and top teacher on Skillshare. Now we're going to learn how to create something called Gridify which essentially is just a grid made out of squares, rectangles, circles, whatever your choice is. So we'll start by creating a new document. Click on create new and let's go to print, A4, make it landscape, maybe add three pages, make the columns three, the column gutter five, it's nice to round it up. And if you wanted to add a bleed, it's always three millimeters as industry standard. Even though we don't really need a bleed this time, it's good practice. Now click on create. So to create a grid, we need to go to the rectangle frame tool. Now currently my rectangle frame tool looks like a polygon, which is fine. If you right click on that and select the rectangle frame tool. Now we're going to create a rectangle and drag it across the three columns, but we don't let go of our mouse. Instead, with our other hand, we press the right key on our keyboard twice. One, two. And then we press the upwards key on our keyboard twice. One, two. Now you can add even more grids and rectangles if you wanted to, but Let's just keep it to nine grids for now and let go. I mean nine rectangles. Now we're going to start placing some images in these rectangles. Let's go to the selection tool. So we can go file place or control D or command D and we can go to our images and we can start selecting five images. So these five images and click on open and you'll see a number five. That means that there are five images waiting to be placed. So just click on a frame, click on the top right frame, click on the center frame, the left bottom corner frame and the right. Now, if you miss accidentally, if you go like this, I mean, and it goes a bit nuts, that's absolutely fine. You just have to undo control Z and you can just place the image in again. Great, now we're going to adjust the fitting of these images. So we can either do them individually by clicking on one and then clicking on the content aware fit icon, or we can select all the frames that have images in and then do them all at once. So what you can do is click on an image, hold down the shift key the whole time and click on the other images and this will select all these images and now click on the content aware fit tool and voila awesome now let's place some text in our frame in our grid so let's go to file place Control d or command d and this time we can select text documents we can select economics open and you can click in this frame See the red plus here? That means that there is more text waiting to be placed. It's hidden, it's overset text, but there's not enough space in this frame to place the remaining text. So what we do is we click on the red plus and we place the remaining text in another frame. Now these two frames are currently linked. So this frame is a continuation of this one. They're threaded. Click on the red plus again and add it in the next frame. Click on the red plus again and add it in the next frame. Obviously you can personally change the order and decide for yourself where everything goes. Well done my friends. If you would like to practice these skills using some cool exercises, then click on the link below to head to my complete beginners Adobe InDesign course. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Adobe tips and tricks. See you soon.